when do I get my money in probate? Well, you maybe have an inheritance coming. Perhaps you're selling a house in probate. So when do you actually get the money? You have to give away your firstborn, maybe give blood, maybe take a ticket and wait in line at the DMV. <laughs> what is going on? When do you get your money? We're going to get right into that now. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brendan Moore, California Realtor and Certified Probate and Trust Specialist. And I'm Bill Heyman. I'm a licensed professional fiduciary. I'm a registered and bonded California Legal Document Assistant and Nevada Legal Document Assistant. I'm also a licensed real estate broker in California and a realtor, a licensed realtor in Nevada. And one thing we want to just remind you of is that we are not attorneys. All of the information that we provide to you is strictly our opinion and also from our more than combined 40 years of experience in the real estate and probate world. So if you're going to make any real important legal decisions, we always suggest that you consult with an attorney before you do that. Now, every day we help people save thousands of dollars and headaches with our unique one-of-a-kind probate administration service and probate real estate listing combo. So if you have questions about that and how we can help you save money, please reach out to us. Our contact information is below. A comment on this video, text us, email us, call us. And please remember to like this video, subscribe right now to this channel because we drop new videos every week and have a lot of information for you. And please search our backlog of videos too because we have a lot of great information for you. So uh, Bill, when do I get my money in probate? <laughs> Boy, isn't that the uh, million dollar question? Uh, we get it all the time. Yeah, everybody yeah. wants to know that. And I understand why. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants their money as soon as possible. The problem with probate is, is that you can't receive your money, your inheritance, until the judge signs an order saying, essentially, I order that $25,000 goes to Joe Smith. Well, the problem with that is, it doesn't come normally till the end of the probate process. And as we've discussed before on numerous videos, on average, probate takes a year. So you can probably figure from the time you start probate to the time the probate ends and you get your money, it's probably going to be about a year. Now, there are other ways that you can potentially get your money sooner, some good and some not so good. One way is there is a process in probate called a petition for an, a preliminary or early distribution. And that can be done during the probate process in the middle of it. But it's a little bit tricky because you see the court is looking out for the interests of any creditors that might come forward and the estate might owe. So the court obviously wants to make sure that you don't distribute money to the heirs and then there's nothing left for the creditors if they're owed. So you go through a formal petition and hearing process at a certain point in the probate when you've reached certain milestones and you can get some money through a preliminary distribution. It is possible to do that. It's going to be added cost to do that, obviously, because you got another petition and hearing and all that, but it is possible. Now, there's a third way that you oh. can get it, which... I don't recommend, mm -hmm. and I don't think you do either. No, I, I think you know where you're going with this. Yeah, why don't you? Is this the advanced inheritance the loans? The advanced inheritance mm -hmm. loans. Yeah, you can you can chime in on that. <laughs> oh well, uh, you've seen it more than I have, but uh, yeah, essentially, somebody wants to get uh, an advanced inheritance loan. They want their money now instead of later, and a lot of times it's not because they really needed the money. Uh, they just know that they're going to get some, and uh, maybe they want to. Put a down payment on a new car or, or something maybe they do need it but a lot of times it's for pretty frivolous things and i don't recommend it because we've seen that it could be a ten thousand dollar loan and 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 what do they end up having to pay back oh my gosh i, I have seen on a ten thousand dollar advance inheritance loan I, I mean i've seen it as high as 18 to twenty thousand on the payback so sometimes it's almost double it's it's ridiculous i i, I would never do it uh, unless it was an absolute last resort emergency and you had no other choice. That's the only time I might think about doing it. It, it seems really predatory. <clears throat> I mean, I always just suggest to people when they ask me about it, because I'll tell you what happens to probate, as I think we point out, public, probate is a public process. In other words, 
it, it's, it's open to the public, all the records, everything. So these advanced inheritance companies, they look through the probate records and they'll send letters specifically to the, oh. the heirs saying, hey, you want $10,000, you want $20,000, we'll give it to you. And, and you got to be real careful because they are predatory. And I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised there's no laws against it, but there isn't to my knowledge. So be very careful. I, I, I would not do the advanced inheritance route unless, like I said, uh, it's a last resort and it's your only way out of a tough situation. Um, there is one other way that you can get your money sooner. And this might be an option for some people out there. And that is <clears throat> you can actually, as an heir, you can sell all or part of your interest in the estate to someone, whoever you want. And there are companies and people out there that will purchase all or part of your interest in the estate. And some of them are fairly reasonable. For example, let's say you want $10,000. Well, you can sell a certain percentage of your inheritance to someone for $12,000 or sometimes 13 or 14, but it's usually more reasonable than those advanced inheritance companies. And essentially what happens when you do that the person or entity that purchased your interest now becomes an heir in your place. And, and then they get their payment at the end of the probate process. And that's actually done quite a bit. So that's another way that people can get their money sooner if they want to. Hmm. Um, but the best way is to be patient. And like Brendan said, hopefully you've planned ahead and you haven't spent your inheritance before you got it. And at the end of the probate, you get the money, you have it, you keep it, and it's a, a blessing to your life. What great information. Thank you so much, Bill. Sure. Uh, and what you really want is even more information about the probate real estate process. We have a video linked right after this called the probate real estate timeline. It's probate real estate from start to finish, from starting probate to the ending of the, the, the closing of a real estate transaction in probate. And it's linked next.